Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and today's video is going to be about molecular genetics and here is a problem given the antisense strand DNA codon and here is the sequence the anticodon of the tRNA that pairs with the corresponding message RNA codon could be and here five answers to choose from if you need the time you may stop video here try to solve this problem on your own first and when you will be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. Imagine that this is um, double-stranded DNA and here is a second strand and here we have message RNA and message RNA would be made using template strand of the DNA. So this is uh, our message RNA and this is double-stranded DNA. So DNA and message RNA. And uh, in order to find uh, which prime ends here, everything you have to know that message RNA, as you see, it started to grow from here and it's still growing in this direction and this end is already released so this is going to be always 5 prime end that means that here we would have 3 prime end and um, this also means that here we would have 3 prime end 5 prime end on the DNA strand and because these two DNA strands go in the opposite direction. We would have 5 prime end here and 3 prime end here. As I said, this strand of DNA would be a template strand of the DNA. So let's put this name here. So this is template strand of the DNA and also this means that we call this strand of the DNA non-template strand of the DNA. So non-template strand of the DNA. Also imagine that here we would have for example adenine, 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 guanine, guanine, guanine and thymine thymine and thymine because adenine would always be pair with thymine on the other strand of the DNA we would have thymine, thymine and thymine here guanine always be pairs with um, cytosine so we would have cytosine, cytosine, cytosine here and thymine always be pairs with adenine so we will, we will have adenine, adenine and adenine here. And what we are going to have on our message RNA and uh, in message RNA, thymine would be still substituted with uracil. So instead of thymine, uh, like we see here, this adenines would uh, whispers with uracil. So uracil, uracil, uracil here. And guanine would be pairs with cytosine, so cytosine, cytosine, cytosine here, and uh, adenine, adenine, adenine here. As you see now, uh, sequence of the message RNA is the same as sequence of the non-template strand of the DNA, with uh, one exception that thymine in message RNA would be substituted with uracil. So the other name of this strand of the DNA would be coding strand of the DNA. So coding strand of the DNA and also that means that this strand of the DNA that we call template strand of the DNA has also other name that is non-coding strand of the DNA. So non-coding would be the second name of this strand. Also we can say 
that this strand of the DNA that has the same uh, sequence as message RNA is uh, sense strand of the DNA because this uh, sequence has a sense so this is sense strand of the DNA and this strand of the DNA that is template strand of the DNA non-coding strand of the DNA we also can call antisense strand of the DNA so the third name would be antisense And this is not the end of the list of the names. Um, I think this is very confusing that two strands of the DNA has eight names. Uh, we also call the strand of the DNA positive strand of the DNA. And this strand of the DNA that is template, non-coding and antisense strand of the DNA we call negative strand of the DNA. So as you see four names for this strand of the DNA and four names for this strand of the DNA. So I hope my explanation now uh, clarify uh, confusion uh, about what the names of the different strands of the DNA. Now I think uh, all the problems that you see and uh, that includes these names would be much easier for you to understand and now let's return to our question. Uh, we are told that um, given the antisense strand DNA, so this is going to be antisense strand of the DNA, uh, codon would be 3 prime to 5 prime direction, so this is 3 prime to 5 prime direction, and sequence would be TAC. So let's put the sequence here. T A C and the anticodon of the tRNA that per base pairs with the corresponding message RNA. So what we would have here on the message RNA, we would have um, adenine and uracil and guanine here. And of course, uh, as you see, this is going to be 5 prom end, so 5 prom end here and 3 prime end here. Now uh, we have to find uh, the anticodon of the tRNA uh, that base pairs with corresponding message RNA codon. And on our picture uh, this is going to be codon of the message RNA and um, anticodon we would expect to be uh, codon of the uh, tRNA so let's draw tRNA. tRNA looks like this. It uh, reminds a um, leaf of clover and uh, sequence would be it is also RNA. So in order to base pair with this RNA if we have 3 prime and here this prime end would be 5 in this um, RNA, tRNA and this is going to be 3 prime end and if we have adenine here so here we would have um, uracil if we have uracil here uracil would base pairs with adenine and guanine would base pair with cytosine and uh, we have 3 prime and here and 5 prime and here so let's take a look at our answers and as you see we have answer C that is correct answer so 3 prime and UAC 3 prime and UAC 5 prime and I hope my uh, presentation were clear for you logic of uh, naming of uh, DNA strands are straightforward uh, those can be a little bit confusing at the beginning but uh, it's um, really easy to uh, memorize and uh, we call uh, trinucleotide codon and anticodon would be corresponding sequence of the tRNA 
And this is all for today. Thank you for attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.